Dzień dobry, to jest program Scanner Defense 24, ja się nazywam Rafał Lesiecki. Dzisiaj nagrywamy rozmowę na posiedzeniu Komitetu Wojskowego NATO w Warszawie, a naszym gościem jest szef sztabu generalnego Chorwacji, generał Mirko Szundow. Good afternoon, general. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Good afternoon to you and your viewers and listeners. Yeah. Croatia has sent uh, troops to Poland uh, with the enhanced forward presence. You have uh, military uh, artillery unit uh, uh, in uh, Ozhish. Uh, um, why uh, why Croatia decided to, to do so? Yeah. Uh, Firstly, thank you very much once again for the invitation and this opportunity to to talk with you concerning that issues. Yeah, well, uh, you know, when we decided uh, to uh, participate or to join to the EFP uh, based on the decision on the Warsaw Summit, uh, we really uh, want to show the solidarity and friendship to the Poland. And just, you know, when we decided last year to joined to the EFP and participated within, within the EFP, we participated in the two battle groups, mm -hmm. one in Poland with the MLRS battery uh, within the, uh, led by the US, and the second one was in Lithuania with the one uh, uh, company. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a, a real, uh, uh, we, sh we really show our solidarity to our friends within the NATO, to the Poland, to the Baltic countries, and the relevance of the NATO, you know, it's a very much important to show uh, how the NATO is the relevant, how the NATO is the uh, 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 solidar with, with our friends from the one side and from the other side. This is a great opportunity for the units who participated within the uh, EFP to conduct a lot of training and exercise. And I would like to thank you very much for the whole to the Polish people, to the Polish armed forces, uh, to the Polish Ministry of Defense and the general staff uh, provide for us everything what is the necessary that our soldiers uh, feel like at home, I would say. And as I mentioned, uh, they are able to, to, to conduct a lot of training, a lot of exercise. And uh, that is a great opportunity uh, for us, you know, to participate in it. And our intention is to constantly rotate. Uh, this is the second rotation and, you know, we are in the preparing phase uh, and, uh, uh, um, and the training for the next rotation who, uh, that is going to be on, uh, on the uh, second part of the October. So, so how long the Croatian soldiers, soldiers would be present in Poland? Uh, is there any date? Or? You know, it's, uh, uh, there are no any concrete date uh, within the uh, Allied and of course uh, it depends on the uh, whole situation and uh, we're going to participate it, uh, in the Poland within the uh, battle group uh, led by the US is the necessary. Mm -hmm. And there are no any date what we are going to, to uh, stop or what we are, we're going to continue constantly uh, uh, for now, you know, until, until now. Yeah. So the training is the biggest benefit of uh, uh, being in, in Poland uh, for the Croatian troops. Are there any challenges? Uh, of course, for sure, you know, there are the training and exercise are the most benefit. And, but from the other side, uh, I think it's necessary also for the nations within the NATO to be familiar with each other much more. And this is the great opportunity for the people, for the uh, soldiers, NCOs and officers who participated in, uh, in AFP from uh, many different countries to be much more familiar. And of course, as you know, uh, the, the nations who are participated in that groups are one of the best. And it's a great opportunity to be with uh, one of the best armed forces, to collect a lot of uh, experience, to collect lessons learned. There are, uh, there are uh, a lot of um, live, uh, live firing also. And it's a great opportunity for, for us, you know, to participate. And, and as I mentioned, we are very much grateful to the uh, Polish armed forces. Will it still be an artillery unit in the future? Or you yeah, we, 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 we are going to continue our participation with the MLRS battery. Yeah.
All right. And uh, I think this is not the, the only one platform of bilateral cooperation between Poland and uh, Croatia. Yeah. What is the most important? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, there are, uh, I would say we have a, a, a very good political framework for the cooperation. And within that political framework, we have a very good bilateral and multilateral cooperation. Multilateral cooperation within the NATO, like EFP engagement, and also within the EU, and the many different uh, participation concerning the EU battle group and other exercises. And also, uh, bilaterally, I would like to stress from the first uh, 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 MOU, what we signed 1998, if I may uh, remember it well, Uh, we have a, a really very good uh, bilateral cooperation focused on the our participation in exercise. For instance, two years ago we participated in Anaconda exercise in Poland with more than 300 troops. Our special forces also uh, have a very good uh, relations and they participated and they organized uh, some international exercise Uh, here in Poland and also in Croatia, of course, in a very close cooperation and a very, very close connection with our strategic partners, US. And uh, also we have a very good uh, bilateral cooperation concerning possible cooperation on the defense industry in a recent time. Just, you know, uh, uh, recent visiting uh, of the official visiting of the Ministry of Defense from Poland, uh, the ministers discussed a lot concerning the defense industry. I think that, that the interest of both countries uh, is a very, very uh, important to have uh, and uh, continue that uh, uh, cooperation. And, uh, Uh, of course, uh, we also participated in a, uh, a core in the headquarters of the of the NATO core in Szczecin. Yeah. Uh, also participated in uh, some other institutions here. Uh, we, we have deployed some personnel, some staffs uh, here in the Poland. And I would say that is a really very good cooperation on a very high level, uh, very professional from both of sides. And I think it's a, it's really really very much fruitful from both of the country and armed forces. You mentioned stretching the multinational corps uh, northeast. Uh, Poland wants to uh, uh, be the host nation of the future land component command of, of NATO and uh, Poland would, would like to uh, upgrade the headquarters of the corps to to this level of uh, land forces command do you need do you think uh, that nato needs uh, more than one uh, land component command and do you think that the idea of establishing uh, one of them in poland is is a good idea or not you know there are uh, th there will be a lot of uh, discussion concerning that within the nato And I mean, on the, in the whole level, NATO military committee, uh, uh, NATO political uh, level uh, or NAC. And I think uh, it's a very much important that the NATO show the solidarity and, and, the, and its relevance. And I think it could be, of course, according to the assessment and everything what is the necessary uh, to make a proper decision, the NATO is going to decide concerning that uh, where is uh, the LCC command and the others uh, NATO uh, parts of the NATO command structure will be deployed and in that sense of course it's uh, I, I, I fully understand uh, the, the, the Pol Polish interests for, for that and of course uh, uh, it, it's going to be uh, further discussion concerning that. Do you support the, this idea of Polish uh, armed forces or? Uh, you know uh, as a, as a uh, I can say very frankly that uh, I'm able to understand mm -hmm. the, the current situation in Poland and uh, of course as an allied we already showed our solidarity concerning our participation uh, in the EFP uh, battle group in Poland and I think uh, the further discussion is going to be very very uh, uh, productive and uh, the final decision is going to be made by the by the very good assessment and everything what is the uh, very much important for the nato and the poland the military co committee conference uh, this morning started from the statement from the polish uh, defense uh, minister Mariusz Baszak. he uh, spoke a lot of uh, 
on the military presence uh, uh, of NATO in Poland, uh, Poland wants to establish permanent presence instead of rotation, rotational presence. Uh, from your, this is of course the political issue, uh, but uh, from your uh, uh, point of view as a military uh, officer, uh, permanent stationing, permanent presence of uh, troops, for example, from United States, would be good idea for the security of Europe. It's it's obvious that the permanent deployment or permanent structure, if you have. Uh, 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 it, it's always uh, very useful if you talk about the, some potential adversaries, if you talk about the, of, of the potential uh, situation that you need to use that. And in that sense, of course, uh, I think it's a, it's a very much or very good, it's a very much good to have uh, the permanent structure or permanent deployment of the NATO 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 units. And in that sense, I think uh, the Poland is a uh, uh, area where the NATO is very much interesting to 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 have a presence, like we showed with the, uh, uh, by the uh, 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 our EFP uh, battle group, not just here in Poland, but in a whole uh, in all ba Baltic countries. And I think uh, that's as you mentioned, that is the political issue. And uh, I think that that uh, 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 it's going to be decided on the on the level of the political body within the NATO. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go back to let's go to to uh, to the Balkans. Uh, uh, we in Poland see the main threat for for the security uh, of Europe, of, of course, from from Russia. We are far away from Russia. So, what is from your uh, point of view? What is the m uh, most challenging in the in the uh, Euro on, in the security si situation of Europe and Balkans? Uh, well, you know, in the in our region. In the Southeast Europe, uh, the current situation is really very complex, but sta sta stable and but fragile from the other side. Uh, if you talk about the current situation in Kosovo and the relations between the uh, Serbia and Kosovo, if you talk about the current situation in Macedonia and also in Bosnia and Herzegovina, you know, incoming elections, the, the current situation is really complex, but as I mentioned, stable. And uh, it's, it's always a challenge uh, 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 situation in a, in, a, in a Western Balkans or Southeast Europe is always a challenge and uh, we are still faced with some challenges like the uh, refugees, you know, the, the so-called the Western Balkans route concerning the, the refugees. And of course, uh, uh, we are also faced with uh, some instability concerning the economical situation and poverty. And uh, I think uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it takes a lot of time uh, to... Uh, 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 we are currently still in a, in, a, in a transition phase. Transition phase means that the, all countries, you know, need uh, to uh, establish and the need to, to develop their open uh, institutions. And that's the very much important for the all nations in, in that part of the world, in that part of the Europe. And of course, uh, it's a very much important role of the US, role of the EU, role of the Russia in, in the whole region. You are familiar that the whole region during the history uh, was always very much interesting area. We still, for have, the, for we still the, have troops in Kosovo yeah, and Bosnia. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And of course, uh, uh, recent conflicts in the in the whole area showed us how that area is very much important for the for the uh, 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 for instance us uh, european union and other countries who have some interest in that area Croatia is a um, NATO member for, for many years, Slovenia too. Uh, the youngest member of NATO is Montenegro. Uh, Macedonia is on its way to, to NATO. Uh, can you imagine Bosnia and Herzegovina in, in NATO in the future? 
you know, just uh, next year we're going to celebrate the 10th anniversary of joining to the NATO and we celebrated this year 5th anniversary to join to the EU. And I can say very frankly, we have a lot of benefits from the both of that uh, organization, like in Poland. Our, our membership in NATO and the EU brings a lot of benefits for us and I'm convinced that the, the best solution is that the all countries in the Western Balkans need to be members of the both of organizations, NATO and EU. Uh, we witnessed uh, how is the very much important that the, finally Montenegro became a full member of the of the of the NATO, and I hope that the uh, former Republic uh, uh, of Yugoslavia, Macedonia, is going to be also Bosnia and Herzegovina. You know, we are particularly interested in as a, uh, for the Bosnia and Herzegovina is the neighboring country, and you know, according to the Dayton Agreement, the Croatian uh, they are one uh, among the three nations uh, in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina and it's necessary uh, to have a Bosnia and Herzegovina as a, as a, a good country, you know, as a, a, a stable uh, neighboring country and we are very much interested in that the Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, became a full member of the NATO and the EU. Of course, Serbia proclaims some kinds of the um, neutrality, they don't like to be member of the NATO, but they are in a progress of the joining, in a process of the joining of the, to the EU, and we very much support that the Serbia became full member of the EU. General, thank you very much for the interview. Naszym gościem był pan generał Mirko Szundow, szef sztabu generalnego Chorwacji. Rozmawialiśmy nie tylko o sytuacji na zachodnich Bałkanach, ale przede wszystkim o współpracy wojskowej między Polską a Chorwacją i obecności żołnierzy chorwackich w Polsce. Bardzo dziękuję za uwagę i zapraszam do obejrzenia kolejnego odcinka naszego programu.